But first, Paul Hunter in Washington with the latest on the ISIS video. Paul. Aimed squarely at Barack Obama indeed, Peter. The video is sickening, but its message is clear. The first thing you see, the U.S. president and a summertime clip of Barack Obama threatening ISIS. When people harm Americans anywhere, we do what's necessary to see that justice is done. If it wasn't clear enough, today's video soon headlines its target audience. Only then does it turn gruesome and by now already sickeningly familiar. We're using still images, but the video appears to show American journalist Stephen Sotloff, who disappeared a year ago, reciting a statement denouncing U.S. actions in the Middle East. A knife is brought to his throat and then what appears to be Sotloff beheaded. This after a video released last month appearing to show the beheading of another American journalist, James Foley, and just days after Sotloff's mother in a video of her own pleaded for mercy. I ask you to please release my child. Sotloff's family today said it is grieving privately. The White House said it's studying the video carefully. Our thoughts and prayers first and foremost are with Mr. Th Sotloff and Mr. Sotloff's family and those who uh, worked with him. ISIS, in its move to form an Islamic state in the region, is no stranger to brutal violence. It's already slaughtered countless. And in the video released today, it threatens to next behead another captive, a British man. As well, ISIS is believed to be holding more Americans. The man with the knife, speaking with a British accent, warns Obama to end U.S. missile strikes in the region, or else, as he puts it, the knife will continue to strike the necks of Americans. Equally worrying for the White House as this crisis deepens, it's believed many dozens of Americans have been recruited by ISIS and are fighting with ISIS in Syria and Iraq, each holding a U.S. passport, which would allow easy entry back into America and the apparent ability to then carry out whatever they choose. Peter. All right, Paul, thank you. Paul Hunter in Washington.